dealership nightmare. Imagine being excited about spending your hard earned cash on a brand new car, but never get the chance to get behind the wheel. That's the reality for one man who says a dealership steered him in the wrong direction. 7 Action News reporter Anja Isom is taking action tonight, trying to find out why the brakes were put on the purchase. Alexis Harris is always looking out for her baby brother Elijah. So when he's happy, so is she. He sounded pretty excited about it. I was excited for him. Excited about this white Impala. Sure, she's used, but she sure is a beauty. It was clean, no engine light, new tires. It was just perfect. Elijah says he found the car on Craigslist and later learned it was parked and nicely priced at Angel Motors on Detroit's west side. He put down a deposit on the vehicle, $900. They give him receipts for the used car order, has the VIN number for the vehicle, and then at the bottom here of the receipt it says have to come back by March 1st because if not you can't get your money back because the receipt does say it's non-refundable if he don't come by that time. Well a few days before that due date Elijah showed up at Angel's to pick up his princess the pretty Impala. We went outside I'm like this not the one. He like oh we sold that one. I said why would y'all sell it? We was busy it was a mistake you can get this I don't want that. I can't pay for a specific thing, and I didn't get that. Okay, your car's not there, so then you expect... My money back. And then... No. <laughs> they say the staff refused to give Elijah a refund, so they called Detroit PD to the scene. When the police uh, came up there, he was saying that this wasn't the first time right. that he had to come up I'm there. And when we checked the reviews online... Don't go there. Don't put down a deposit. So I picked up the phone and called. The person on the other end said the situation is being handed off to an attorney. But why are you guys contacting a lawyer when you guys have his $900? Oh my gosh, they hung up on me. Well, I called back again and again and again. Now they sent me straight to voicemail. That has not been set up. Elijah has done everything right. He's done everything by the book. He went to police. He called us to try to get some help. I've called several times. Now the only thing left to do, we gotta go up there. Are they locking it? Yep. Uh-uh. Come on. Excuse me, I know you guys aren't closed, so why are you locking up? And locking us out, giving us the cold shoulder, but I won't keep quiet. Yeah, you gave away his car, and you didn't give him his money back. Hello? For more than a few minutes, a group of guys were holed up, seemingly hiding inside the office. Hmm. Until a customer shouted. I just asked because somebody let me out. So. Well, running with hoods pulled tight and strings in hand, fellows were fumbling around with the keys, not once, but twice. Come on, can you just give the $900 back? Come on, look at me. Come on, just look at me. How would you describe the way they are doing business? Poorly, <laughs> poorly, not professional at all. There's two sides to every story. What's Angel's side? Y'all gotta back up now, y'all can't be on property now. Okay, all right. okay, we'll okay, all right, we're out. I just don't want this to happen to anyone else. And neither do we. So to help protect yourself, Read all of the reviews of the business before you buy. Get referrals from family, friends, and coworkers. And never use a prepaid card. Use a credit card if possible. Well, after we left, the very next day, the owner of Angel Motors offered Elijah to put that $900 deposit toward another car or a $500 refund. Right now, brother and sister are weighing all of their options. And when it comes to doing any deal, that's something we should all do. In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. All right, Andrea, great job. And if you have an issue you want Andrea or the 7 Action News team to look into, be sure to send us an email to tips at wxyz.com.